Hi, my name is Tomasz Poszetek and in this video I would like to show you how you can complete any approval that is still waiting for some responses um, to be posted even if, uh, even if, well, not all, uh, not all approvals are completed and all responses are collected. Um, this is possible, so um, thanks to the fact that all the approvals data is stored in Dataverse in tables within Dataverse environment where the approval was created. Um, having that in mind, we are able to actually use this data to maintain operations on approvals and to automatically, um, for example, as, as in this scenario, complete any waiting approval and therefore the workflow, the cloud flow, which is waiting for this approval to be completed can be resumed. That can be useful, uh, for example, in a scenario that you have an approval sent to multiple assignees and you already know that some of them have, uh, has approved and you just don't want to wait anymore so that you can simply make a request and complete the approval and resume the flow so that the whole business logic can actually be, uh, well, be completed in the cloud flow. Now, now, if you'd like to learn really more in details uh, how this whole structure in Dataverse is built, how uh, approvals data is stored in this um, in this um, structure, then I encourage you to watch my other YouTube videos around approvals deep dive, where I'm really explaining in very details how the model is built. All right, so let's uh, jump to the same the, the demo itself. I have here my very simple workflow, it's called assign lots of tasks and its only purpose is as the name states to assign tasks. So first the workflow is simply assigning a task to three employees. Then I put an action that is writing me verbally or visibly uh, the approval ID that I'll be using to resume this workflow at a moment that I really want to and then it will be uh, waiting for an approval. Now this scenario can as well be useful in uh, in such a cases where you have an approval that was assigned to a couple of people. Some of them, as mentioned, have already as, uh, has already approved. However, you are really close to that time limit of 30 days, and so like, like you already see that your workflow is, for example, going to be cancelled tomorrow, uh, and therefore you need to complete it today because all the business logic that has been executed before the approval would be lost otherwise. And so whatever you, what, the only thing you can do here is simply to uh, just find out what were the responses and then decide whether you want this approval to be completed with, for example, approve or reject outcome. Okay, now how to do that? Quite simple. Let me run that flow. All right, the workflow is running. So right now I can navigate to uh, the solution with my cloud flows. And here I have a flow that is called complete and approval. Let me show you how it is built uh, just very briefly uh, because that is very important to understand what it's doing so that you possibly will be able to uh, follow my steps. So first um, the workflow is getting all assigned tasks and the approval record. So the approval, uh, the, the record in approvals table for the given approval ID. This workflow is simply taking uh, two input variables, two input values. So the first one is approval ID, which I have already generated and visible here. So that's the approval ID. And the second one uh, is the outcome. So uh, with, with what outcome should this workflow be uh, completed? And what it's doing next uh, is first getting all the responses. So if there were any responses provided uh, in that or made in that uh, approval process, then it will gather them and it will concatenate them to build uh, a request body that will be later sent to so-called flow notification URI. So the URL that once receives a post request is going to resume a related uh, cloud flow that is waiting for the approval to be completed. Um, and this way we can actually resume any cloud flow even though the approval itself is not yet completed. So here uh, I'm composing and building like two tables, uh, two arrays. Uh, that will be then put as the JSON uh, attributes. Finally, uh, the workflow is trying to find out the approval, uh, the flow notification URI from the flow approval table. And it's doing that by querying this flow, uh, this table and looking for a row that has the approval ID equal to that approval ID generated by the approval here. Now, the point is that the flow approvals table is having a separate record per each per each approval related action that you have in your flow. So if you have two actions, like in my case, there will be two entries in flow approval table. 
Now the first action, so this one to create an approval, is going to have an approval ID equal to the one that is displayed here. The other entry, the second one, its approval ID is just some kind of a random GUID. I, I didn't really find any correlation to whichever data uh, was stored in approvals table. So it's not really easy to find the second record. However, what is important, in this scenario, the second record holds the notification URI value. The first one doesn't. So what I'm doing in this Cloudflow is first getting that um, record related to flow uh, to the approval ID, and then I'm evaluating if the flow notification URI is not empty. If it is empty, I'm doing a second call to the flow approval uh, table. This time, the query, the OData uh, query, is looking for a records or the record that has the run sequence ID equal to the one I was able to obtain from the first call and uh, whose or, or which uh, flow notification URI column contains a value that starts with HTTPS. So this time I'm nearly almost sure that uh, it will return me uh, a record that actually contains the flow notification URI that I need to call later on. And so next step is to mark the approval record as completed. So that's a very important information that you have to remember. You need to update approval data in Dataverse so that, for example, uh, all the pending tasks which are not yet completed are going to disappear from users' action items and will not confuse them in the future. So you need to make this approval as completed. Uh, by updating several information in that record. Again, you can find out what information has to be updated by looking up to my other videos. And last step is to send this HTTP request, this HTTP POST request to Flow Notification URI with the body that follows the schema that the action, that this action is waiting for. So let me just um, now test run this uh, flow. I haven't made any responses so far, right? So uh, there won't be any any responses received in this uh, in this scenario. However, even though there are no responses, so no tasks were completed, I want still this workflow to be terminated or completed with the approval outcome. So now I need to oh sorry. So now I need to copy this GUID and then paste it here. And then let's say the uh, outcome can be approved. And now I can simply run the flow to see what will happen. After that, I can navigate back to um, the workflow which is waiting, which is already completed. That was really fast. And what I can find in the action wait for an approval is the body that I have uh, sent to the flow notification URI. As you can see, there is no responses. There are no responses. There are no. Uh, there is nothing in response summary because no responses were made during this approval process, although the outcome is approved. And so, uh, again, this uh, body is meeting the schema that the action wait for an approval is waiting for. And therefore, uh, the action is displaying this specific information as dynamic outcomes that can be used later in your flow, the same way as if the approval process was completed uh, in the proper way through the uh, user interface by the users themselves. However, in this case, it was completed automatically by another flow that was built on a site. And it can be, uh, you know, considered as a, some kind of a support flow that can help you to complete any workflow, uh, any approval processes that are still waiting for, uh, their tasks to be, uh, completed. But there is, for example, no time left for the whole action to, to wait anymore. And therefore you need to complete it just ad hoc. All right. Um, and having that said, uh, thank you very much for watching this quite short video. I still hope that it was uh, inspirational and it will help you to complete your business uh, cases, your business uh, scenarios, and will help you to make your flows more flexible and uh, well, better in, in use. If you have any questions, simply write them down in comments below the video. And of course, subscribe, thumbs up. And well, until the next time. Thank you and bye bye.